So how did a $27 AI book writing software found in the first pinned comment of this video write these three books in which I sell between $200 to $1,200 over on my own sites? And you can see the proof of PayPal right here. I even attach subscriptions to my books. Sometimes they get canceled, but these books are created from AI for the most part. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how we use this AI book writing software to create books like this that blow the hell up guaranteed every single time. What are you going to need? You're going to need this software, which is in the first pan comment. Then you're going to need ChatGPT. And other than that, you're going to need Google.com. <clears throat> So let me show you exactly how I do this. So pay attention. I shouldn't have to say stay to the end. If you're trying to make money using these AI book writing softwares and become an author uh, faster than ever before, no needing for anybody's publishing advice and everything like that, I'm going to show you all of the steps. This is not some entertainment transition editing fast paced video. This is for you to make money. So mature up and pay attention and copy exactly what I'm I'm gonna do all right the bible says let all your ways be established meaning let all your ways be proven don't reinvent the wheel you don't have to start from scratch so what we'll do is we'll say um best selling <clears throat> romance novels 2024 you're like what what are you about to do i'm about to show you how to get money how to get paypal payments for books OK, using AI book writing software. So just focus, please focus, focus. And if you want to, you can check out this video on my channel. It'll give you a, a quicker rundown of like the pricing. How do I choose the pricing and everything like that? Boom. Anyway, so. <clears throat> so we have the last goddess. We have the highest bidder. Uh, tell me everything perfect strangers, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing, guys. You want to take notes. So we have, uh, what is the highest selling romance novel? So we have 50 shades of gray. All right. Well, fine. We'll take this. I don't think this is 2024, uh, 20, but we'll take this book and I'm going to show you exactly what, what I'm going to do. So am I going to use plagiarism? Mm, just wait and see. Am I literally about to copy this book? Just wait and see. All right. So we're going to say, give me summary. <clears throat> All right. This is the 50 Shades of Grey summary. All right. When college senior Anastasia Dakota Johnson steps, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, do we want the storyline or do we want the summary? Mm, we want to take the best one, like the most like detailed one. So this right here over here is probably the best one. So, <clears throat> all right. So chat GBT, the following storyline summary is the best selling romance novel okay um we are going to redo this and make it better so that it makes history as far as sales okay why because <clears throat> they have a working model it is most successful for a reason. It has a book, it has a movie, all of that extra stuff. Okay, so we want to take that. All right. So uh, if you understand, type understand and stop. Okay, so chat GPT understands. Now watch this. And, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to actually create the book itself using the AI book writing software, guys. So don't worry. And the book, uh, AI book writing software is only 27 bucks. You understand what I'm saying? Well, you don't have to, like, it doesn't cost a lot to do this stuff, guys. And you can make a killing, okay? So I made my money multiple times over, okay? So this is the summary. Boom. That's the summary. Now we're going to change it up a bit. If you understand understand the summary, say understand and stop. 
Okay, we just want to make sure ChatGPT gets everything. Okay, so they have the summary right here. Okay, <clears throat> now I want you to rewrite this storyline, but uh, change the characters' names. Pay attention, guys. This is where it gets interesting. Change the characters' names. <clears throat> also, I want this story to take place in the uh, mid-50s when interracial dating, interracial marriage, marriage, was illegal. <laughs> yeah, I see I, you see where we're going with this? Make the man of the story a black guy and make the woman a white guy. I want them to live in the deep south of Mississippi somewhere, Mississippi somewhere. <laughs> also, it needs to take place um, in the winter time near the holidays. Okay, so now, <laughs> as you can see, we took the base of the storyline, okay? Remember, the initial storyline of 50 Shades of Grey. I want to keep uh, tones from that story. Okay? But I want you to write, rewrite this storyline, but change the characters' names. Also, I want the storyline to take place in the 50s, blah, blah, blah. Okay, also it needs to take place in the winter time near the holidays. So this sends, uh, sends, um, hold on, sends interracial marriage was illegal at the time this story needs to include much suspense <clears throat> suspense, how do you spell suspense? Is it S? And danger. Okay, so this will be a romance, an action, an action romance novel. Create a, uh, how many chapters we want this? <laughs> Let's just say create a uh, create a twenty one chapter uh, outline for this story below. <laughs> but first, create the an introduction that is so. Um, suspenseful, it will make me want to buy and read the entire book. Boom. All right. So now it's making, <laughs> this is crazy right here. Now it's making the, the introduction right here. Look, okay. Uh, now it's making an outline as well, okay? I didn't tell it to stop, so it's going hard, okay? So we're going to read the introduction real quick, guys. Like like this, so now I took the basis of what made Fifty Shades of Grey <clears throat> uber successful, and now I completely switched it to where it has an even more interesting uh, story added to it. You know, I, I increased, I raised the stakes, Right. OK, so look, the cold wind howled down the dark streets, the darkened streets of Jackson, Mississippi, whipped up 
uh, whipping up icy tendrils that seep through every layer of winter clothing. Uh, in the small cafe nestled on the corner of Maine and Maple, uh, Evelyn Taylor was warming her hands, blah, 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 you know. So basically, <clears throat> so the black dude's name is Caleb, a man whose gaze felt like a promise and a warning all at once. Why is it a, a promise? Man, because she knows that she'll fall in love with this guy. And, <laughs> you know, we got that effect, you know what I'm saying? But the warning is like, shoot. We can get the hell locked up if we get caught or we can get hung or killed or all type of stuff. Even though chances are back then she would have just blamed it on him and said it was his idea. And yeah, but anyway, all right. <clears throat> so carried consequences, especially for a white woman and a black man. Yet here she was drawn into the depths of a world she'd never known of shadows, secrets, and desire that could tear her life apart. <laughs> <laughs> are y'all kidding me do you see <laughs> how interesting this story can be now okay as she looked at caleb her heart pounded not just with the thrill of being near him but with the fear of what might come next come on this is classic already what started as a passing glance and a fleeting smile was now a wildfire consuming them both each touch each whispered word was a risk but the pull between them was undeniable. And with danger lurking at every corner, Evelyn knew one thing. The stakes were higher than she'd ever imagined. With each nightfall, their passion deepened. And so did the threats hanging, get it, hanging over them. And she wondered if love, once crossed into such perilous territory, would be enough to keep them safe. Or if it would just be the very thing that led to their undoing. Boom. All right. So, yeah. All right. So we got like, what is this? 21 chapters and stuff. <clears throat> so all we do, all right, we say, all right, chat GPT, uh, begin writing chapter one and do not forget the storyline details and the, the instructions I, I've given you begin writing chapter one. Okay, so now it's going to begin writing chapter one, but we're going to go over there and look at the AI book writing software. And I'm just going to give you an example of how it works. <clears throat> of course, ChatGPT isn't going to continue writing the entire thing. Like its whole goal is to be swift and fast and stuff. So it'll try to like, like uh, conclude it super fast and stuff, but it's getting better. As you can see, it's, it's, it's writing a lot for chapter one. Like usually I have to tell it to continue, um, you know, right now or something like that. I'll say continue um, chapter one, you know, or yeah, chapter one, boom. <laughs> but it's continuing it already, right? So usually you'll let it, uh finish this thing right and then you'll bring it over here to the ai book writing software so let me show you but but as y'all can see you take a storyline that's proven something that's proven something that's addictive something that everybody has talked about before and then that way when you are writing the description on uh kdp or you're doing promotion or something like that you can say <clears throat> you can use it as reference this is how they sell movies you know they'll say um if you liked Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, then you'll love this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, uh, imagine this being Fifty Shades of Grey mixed with Roots. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey with the Black Panther Party. You know, Fifty Shades of Grey with uh, 12 Years a Slave, <laughs> right? Like 12, this is Fifty Shades of Grey meets 12 Years a Slave, right? So you're like, okay, I got two winning concepts. Like, like they won like abnormally, like you understand what I'm saying? So you blend those two together, you know, it's going to kill it, right? Let me see. Is it still over here writing? Damn, it was still right. <laughs> All right. Well, usually what we would do is we would like finish the whole situation out. But let me just show you guys what we do. So <clears throat> we'll come over here to Google Docs. <clears throat> And we'll open a blank file and we'll paste this in. Boom. 
All right. So this is chapter one, you know, for, damn, what we named the book? I don't even know what we named the book. What we call it? Um, shoot, I don't even, we didn't even come up with a name for it. Fifty Shades of Slave. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, we have to come up with a good book name. I don't even know yet. I'm just trying to show you how to use the AI book writing software. Okay, so we got chapter one over here. And we'll just, we'll just call it chapter one. <clears throat> and uh, we want to put, uh, we want to change private to only me. And let's see, I forgot how you, okay, here we go. Anyone with the link, boom, there we go. So now anybody with the link can view this. Okay, so I can download it as well as a doc, <clears throat> as y'all see over here. So then I can say import from a Google, this is import from a Google doc right here. Uh, then there's also an option right here, import from docs, let's see. And here's the URL, oh, that's not the URL, what's the URL? <clears throat> Copy the link. Boom. Given file is not a doc. What are you talking about? It is a damn doc. Okay. Anyway, let's, how about this? I mean, one moment, yeah. How about this? Let's just import from Google Docs. That should be that. My bad. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so it has it. It says next, save the doc. Okay, so we got that. Yeah, we already did it. So we say next, let's start. Boom, so we got it right here. It's in here. Then save it. Then we're gonna say choose a template. And they have a lot of different templates. Boom. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically pop up and like whichever template you, you know, whatever, whichever one you select, you can look at, you know, then you'll say, it's kind of like Canva a little bit. You'll say, use this template. Boom. And what it does is it automatically chooses the pages. I mean, like it numbers the pages for you and organizes it and all of that extra stuff, see? So <laughs> you can edit it. You can even embed audio. <laughs> you can embed video into this even crazy, right? Like this software is, is crazy. And so it's doing checks, right? Okay. You can be in there. So that's what I'm saying. Like you'll be able to edit all of this. Matter of fact, let me broaden this up so you can see uh, the tools to the left. And then as you can see, here's the pages. It numbered the pages. This is just chapter one and stuff, obviously. So chapter one is like one, two, three, like four different pages or something. And you can just stroll and you can edit it if you need to and put spaces and and all of that, but you can also like, you know, add text if something needs to be changed. You can then put your author name and all of that extra stuff on top of that. You could put images in there, like upload an image, all of that, man. This is freaking crazy. You hear me? And then, so once you're done writing all the chapters, because so this is chapter one. As you can see, I can say continue chapter one, continue chapter one if I want the chapters to be longer and it to continue. Boom. But if I wanted it to go to chapter two, I would have just said, go on to chapter two. And when you're done, of course, you're going to have a, like a, a super long uh, Google doc or whatever, blah, 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 whatever. But then you'll just simply import that in like so, like exactly how I did. Boom. You know what I'm saying? What I strongly suggest, you guys can put it on Amazon if you guys want to, but they have restrictions. You know, uh, if you don't know how to drive traffic to your own stuff, then I'll probably do a video on that. You know, but for now, then I guess you can put it on Amazon, KDP, Kindle, and a couple of other places, right? Um, 
but like it's way better to like sell the books on your own site you ain't got to worry about the um, the platform restrictions and stuff it's cool to leverage them especially at the beginning if you don't know how to drive traffic uh, but if you subscribe, I'm going to have videos for how to drive traffic to your AI books um, and make money. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, but that's pretty much this is it. This is the software that you can see in the first pan comment. You, you can like edit it and make it all purdied up, make the cover. You see it got templates for the cover. Uh, they're going to number it automatically. And then you when you're done, you will simply click on publish if you feel good with, you know, what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? And this is the title and all of that. You're the author, blah, blah, blah. You can put the description right here and you can click right here because you want this to be able to go on Kindle. You know what I'm saying? Um, and or you can keep it for Adobe Reader, but I usually say Kindle and you just click export and then that'll be that right there. So that's the the best AI book writing software ever. And that's in the first pan comment, only 27 bucks. Go ahead and make a move.